we should warn you that this next story contains graphic images of a man being run over and killed. It happened in Jackson, Mississippi in June. The driver is white, the victim was black. And Randall Pinkston tells us the dead man's family filed a wrongful death suit today against the driver and six of his friends for what the family claims was a hate crime. The death of James Craig Anderson was captured by a motel parking lot surveillance camera. On the upper right of the screen, a pickup truck is seen backing up, then charging over the 48-year-old Anderson, seen here wearing a white shirt. Witnesses have told police that before Anderson was run down, he had been beaten by a group of teens yelling racial slurs. Attorney Winston Thompson filed the civil suit on behalf of the Anderson family today. A essentially cased him out. They wanted to make sure he was a, a suitable, vulnerable victim. When you say cased him out, what do you mean? They went and talked about what they were going to do, and then they came back a second time, and that's when the actual assault took place. Daryl, how are you feeling? In addition to the civil suit, capital murder charges have been filed against 19-year-old Daryl Detman. He was the alleged driver. 18-year-old John Rice, who witnesses say helped beat the victim, has been charged with simple assault. County Prosecutor Robert Shuler Smith says race was a factor. Racial slurs being used um, throughout the event um, and of course afterwards. Attorneys for Detman say what happened was an accident, but prosecutors have charged Detman with a hate crime, which means if convicted, his sentence could be doubled. Mississippi put a hate crime on the books in 1994? That's correct, yes. Is, is this the first time it's being applied? Uh, this is the first time that, that we know of. In a town with a tense racial history, black and white residents have been standing side by side at prayer vigils seeking justice for the victim. Racially motivated crime cannot take place in our city, in our towns, and in, um, in the state of Mississippi. Detman's bail has been raised to $800,000 and he remains behind bars. Federal authorities have also entered the investigation to see if other teens in Daryl Detman's group should also face charges. Randall Pinkston, CBS News, Jackson, Mississippi.